Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. It's me, Mr. Four Upscaler. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, why is it that you have to unable and leave HDR alone on Apple TV 4K? Well, one of the reasons you got to do this is so that way when you are watching a real HDR content, because remember, these movies are already mastered in HDR. Uh, whether you're watching a movie that has uh, Dolby Vision or a uh, HDR10 badge, those movies are already mastered in that format. And to get the best possible matching quality of that format, you have to leave it at the 4K SDR standard dynamic range, 60 hertz format. Because if you are forcing static metadata and forcing Dolby Vision dynamic metadata, then what you are basically doing is you are not giving that format its true matching quality that was already encoded by the studio, okay? So that's why you have to leave your format at the 4K SDR 60 Hertz, which is right over here, as you can see it. HDMI output, it's YCBCR. This is your color output of the HDMI. And this is the 4044 chroma upsampling. What this basically is, it's the speed of the HDMI. And the reason why my HDMI ultra high speed Belkin cable, it's showing 444, it's because it's the fastest uh, HDMI cable that I have. HDMI 2.0 uh, high speed cable will do the same but I recommend Belkin ultra high speed cable. It's only 29 bucks. Uh, we'll give you that without any delay, perfect chroma upsampling to 444 of the color output. And you're gonna get that really good HDR. And a really important part right here is the match content. This is, the, this is why you have to leave it at the 4K standard dynamic range it's so that the apple 810 powerful chip can communicate via your hdmi to your tv and select the best matching content that your tv can output it will detect whether or not your tv can output uh, hdr and if it cannot output hdr it will determine what's the best hdr output depending on your uh, peak brightness and your television quality, it will do output that best possible HDR matching content also with a frame rate. So you wanna select both match frame rate and dynamic range on. This way, if you're watching only a 4K movie, it'll only show 4K. For example, if you're watching Predator that only supports 4K, it is not going to force HDR, it's just gonna show the 4K. If you're watching Die Hard, which doesn't support HDR from the studio, uh, you're going to only watch that 4K resolution. And this is good because you don't want to force HDR. I was making a mistake where I was forcing the HDR. And I think this is the reason why I was having problems with my Matrix. And I want to talk about the Matrix on the Apple 4K. Yes, Matrix does support HDR and 4K. But the reason I was having issues presenting it in its best possible form, it's because I didn't do this. I was forcing the HDR, and that's what happened. That's why I was losing the signal, having signal come back, because I was forcing it. And they weren't able to process it correctly. Okay? So you don't want to force HDR. And I'm going to show you right now, I'll give you that one example. We're going to go to uh, Matrix right here. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly that it does support HDR and it does have 4K. Well, first and foremost, you can see it immediately when you go to a display page or, if you will, display cover of the matrix, you will see exactly that says right next to two hours and 16 minutes, it says 
4K Dolby Vision. Now, this one supports Dolby Vision. It was encoded for Dolby Vision. However, uh, it is also going to decompress that to the HDR10. So the, the great thing about dynamic uh, metadata, it can go both ways. It can go both static and it can go uh, Dolby Vision. So if you don't have a Dolby Vision, what's going to happen is that Dolby Vision will be uh, decompressed to HDR. All right. Now, I would recommend that you use a Dolby Vision. Remember, the whole idea of matching content is that you use a Dolby Vision format that was encoded by the studio. So what I would have to do here is I would have to use my TCL and properly watch the matrix on the Dolby Vision. However, if you don't have a Dolby Vision, it doesn't matter. The match content will still use the uh, static metadata and that static metadata will be uh, put forth on this movie. And I'm going to show it to you in a minute. As you can see right here, it does have HDR showing up. It is right here. You can clearly see it. HDR showing up. Now, I would recommend that you use it on a Dolby Vision television because this format from the studio was intended for Dolby Vision. However, it still is going to switch to static metadata to use HDR from that Dolby Vision. But I recommend that you guys use a Dolby Vision television, a, a format that is matched with this content. Here, clearly, you can see the HDR, it's working. And here, I can show it to you again. There it is. You will see it on the top uh, right corner. So, yeah, that's pretty much why you have to leave your format on a 4K standard and then let the match content on for both frame rate and dynamic range and let it decide what's the best format to match that content. Remember, what they're doing is basically they're matching the content of that format, whether it's HDR or Dolby Vision. If your television has both Dolby Vision and HDR, then you're all set. You know? But even if it doesn't have a Dolby Vision, you can, it will still switch to static metadata and it's gonna use HDR format. One example right here. Now, obviously the ideal thing for me would be to watch this Matrix movie on a TCL, Dolby Vision format, because uh, Studio encoded this movie to be in Dolby Vision. Now, the quality of this movie, you have to remember, uh, this is a old movie, and it was using a certain type of color. A little bit of blue, green, yellow, sepia, warm, uh, it's always like all over the place, but on certain on certain scenes, it does pop with color, you know. So you have to remember, this is the way the filmmaker intended this movie to look. Uh, and I think it looks great for 4K, for an old movie. Uh, and the uh, Dolby Vision and HDR, I tested the Dolby Vision and HDR, looks fantastic as well. For a... A movie that's mastered in 4K from 2K Intermediate with a HDR and Dolby Vision. Well, there you go. There you have it, guys. Uh, just a little tip again, a little explanation, if you will, as to why you have to leave it on a match content and don't turn the HDR on. Don't force the HDR. Basically, the whole idea is to not force the HDR. If you don't force the HDR, then you're going to get the best possible matching content for your uh, television. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.